Welcome to our very unusual kickoff of Hispanic Heritage Month. This is the first year that we're celebrating outdoors and also the first time we're celebrating with proper social distancing and also at the mayor's office. So good morning, everybody. And in order to start this one uh, month long celebration, September 15th to October 15th, recognizing the contributions of those who trace their roots to Spanish speaking countries, I'd like to invite young Latina, 16 year old Elena Jimenez to uh, sing the national anthem for us. Oh, so can you see by the dawn's early lights what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose bright stripes and bright stars And I have the pleasure to introduce to our national mayor, John Cooper, the Honorable John Cooper. Buenos dias and good morning. I'm going to take my mask off for just a minute and thank all of you for being here so much. And thank you for being socially distanced. And a point of personal privilege, I just want to thank my colleague and friend, Fabian Bednay, who is joined our office and is part of how we're going to make this city a great city for all of her people. And I'm honored to stand with you, my fellow Nashvillians, to celebrate together Hispanic Heritage Month, which is celebrated, yes, from September 15th through October 15th. And let us recognize the role that Hispanics play in the economic cultural and social fabric of our great city. We know Hispanics make up a significant portion of our labor force in Nashville and all across the United States. They are also elected officials, CEOs, small business owners, entrepreneurs, and homemakers who are providing leadership, guidance, and support for the values that strengthen our economy and our culture. And I just, I want to take this opportunity to recognize the sacrifices and commitment during this time of COVID for our service industry workers and our essential healthcare workers, many of whom are Hispanic, who have so distinguished themselves by keeping our city running. Thank you for your service. And finally, I need to ask all of you for some help to share the call to complete the census forms at 2020census.gov slash ES. Doing it will help us have the resources to build a better city for everyone. Each 
returned census form will mean $10,000 to Nashville in the years ahead for our schools, for our roads, to serve our people. Nashville needs your help. So to your community on your social media, ask your friends to complete the census forms. Be sure that they do it as soon as possible. The deadline right now is the end of this month. And thank you to the Nashville Area Hispanic Chamber of Commerce for what you do for Nashville. Building prosperity one person, one business at a time. We look forward to continuing our work together and improving our lives of our city and all of her people. And with that, it gives me enormous pleasure and pride to present a proclamation recognizing the next 30 days as Hispanic Heritage Month and honoring the great and historic contribution that Hispanic people have made to us being a great city. And we're going to be the greatest city in the United States in the 21st century. We're going to do it together, and it's going to be a beacon for all. Thank you very much. Here, just who can I present it? right here. Thank you very much and thank you for everybody's attendance. Thank you so much. Welcome. Please join us, Walter. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, everybody, for your attendance. I'm going to invite one of our partners because all the Muslim activities as again. All the month-long activities are made possible thanks to our partners, key members, but also key corporate and community partners who make our programming possible. One of them is the Nashville Convention and Business Bureau, who is also represented on our board through our good friend, Marie Suing. Please welcome. <laughs> Buenos dias, Nashville. Buenos dias, Nashville. I am so honored today to join in the kickoff of National Hispanic Heritage Month, which as you know, begins today, September 15th and continues through October 15th. This special time was officially designated in September of 1968 as a week of celebrating the rich history, culture of the nation's Hispanic communities and expanded to a month long celebration 20 years later in 1988. The significance of this timing of Hispanic Heritage Month is deliberate, as it is on September 15th that Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua celebrate the anniversary of their independence. This time also marks the independence of Mexico on September 16th and Chile on September 18th. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the Hispanic population of the United States as of July 1, 2019 was 18.5% of the total U.S. population. That is 60.6 .6 million people, making people of Hispanic origin the nation's largest ethnic minority. This is a time to recognize and celebrate the history, the vibrant culture, the many achievements, and contributions of our Latino community members that not only exist, but enrich our communities, our cities, and our country. Our fellow community members have long contributed in every area of life and industry. They are teachers, doctors, veterans, musicians and creatives, lawyers, business owners, public servants, and the list goes on. It is a time to celebrate with you and to say thank you. I know we all look forward to the day when we can come together again and celebrate with our brothers and sisters in person. But for now, I encourage you to immerse yourself in this beautiful culture here in Nashville via the various events, virtual events taking place over the next month and beyond to include but not limited to those hosted by the Nashville Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, Conexion Americas, Delgado Guitars, Plaza Mariachi, just to name a few. We love you, thank you, and Feliz Mes de la Gerencia Hispana.
Thank you, thank you, Marie. Um, we're going to close the program, uh, of course, first directing you to visit our page online at National Hispanic Chamber, recognizing the presence of our great board members who made uh, made many of the things that we're going to do this month possible. Uh, not only uh, being members, being mentors, uh, also guiding the direction of the organization um, and um, its programs, of course. Uh, great volunteers that are also present. Thank you, Elena. Thank you, Karina. Thank you, John. Everyone counts. And you know that around here we see uh, that we are rebuilding. We are, uh, it's a work in progress. I think our community is important, is valuable at 60.6 .6 million in the country and growing. Uh, we're here to stay. With that, I want to introduce our chairman, Rolando Toyos, uh, who's going to uh, give us uh, remarks and closing words. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for coming out and attending. I just want to say, I want the Nashville Area Hispanic Chamber gives you all a big abrazo. This was created in, uh, in 88, uh, 1988 by Ronald Reagan. And the things that he emphasized that Hispanics are bringing to the community are two things that we need uh, desperately today. And that's one, community and family. And I think now with our country so divided, I think Hispanics can show the way on how we can come together as a community and give each other an abrazo and some support. Now, it's Nashville Hispanic Chamber uh, represents a lot of different uh, businesses here in Nashville. And what we hope to do in the future is continue to grow that base and also continue in the growth of Nashville. So I encourage you to attend any of our meetings, go to our website, and you will find support from us no matter uh, what your persuasion, what your uh, economic status is, whether you have a business or not. And thank you for coming today. Final words, uh, Fabian Bene. Well, the mayor had to go to another meeting. He was very happy to be here. Uh, I am honored to be with my friends here what we are doing here is very important. I know that each one of us makes Nashville better. I'm celebrating what we do in the, the U.S. and in the city is important. So I'm, I'm very proud to be part of this. And thank you very much for choosing our courthouse to celebrate uh, the beginning of Hispanic Heritage Month. Thank you, Julia. Thank you, Fabian. We have like uh, less than a minute left. And I'm not going to use that time, but I want to acknowledge again our board members but also the board members of our NHC foundation who is also uh, working through the year to make uh, some of the things that we bring to the Hispanic community possible. With that, uh, you want to tell us about uh, the essay? Yes, uh, Belmont University is hosting the presidential debates on October the 22nd and we're partnering with Metro schools so that they can learn and we can leverage all of this to learn more about the government and help them become better citizens. And there's an essay contest. We're partnering with Metro schools and the Hispanic Chamber. If you go to belmont.edu slash community, you will see all of the guidelines and the essay topics. They're cash awards. So high school first prize is $300, second prize $200, third prize $100. Middle school essay contest is $150, $100, $50. The students get the essay printed in the uh, Tennessean and they will appear in a podcast with David uh, Plazas as well. They're going to get to read their essay um, uh, online and we will publish that. They will also get to tour the grounds of the debate. So we hope that they will too want to be president of the United States. So thank you to the Hispanic Chamber for partnering with Belmont. Very good. En español también. Bienvenidos a todos. Gracias por estar aquí. Esto es un 16 año que celebramos el mes de la herencia hispana junto con ustedes. Gracias a nuestra junta directiva que está presente aquí. Voy a empezar a nombrarlos de, me imagino que es de derecha a izquierda. Doctor Rolando Toyos, Don Manuel Cuevas, Ofelia Vázquez, Marie Suey, Luis Cersei, uh, Lorraine Segovia Paz, uh, Claudia Suazua, Zulema uh, Quiñones Vega, Anel Flores, our good friend Walter Hunt, and anyone else that couldn't make it, uh, they send regards 
to you. And with that, I'm going to introduce our brand new director for the Office of the New Americas, Mohamed Surti. Thank you, Yuri. Um, welcome and happy Hispanic Heritage Month. Uh, my name is Mohamed Shukri Hassan, and I'm very brand new to this role, so I'm really thrilled and excited to be working with the Hispanic Chamber and all the communities here. Uh, big thing here at the mayor's office is that uh, folks of the city are here to serve the community. So I'm so looking forward to our partnership, and I'm so looking forward to working uh, with you all. And I'm, I'm, I'll be paying attention, looking forward to the virtual events and everything. So right now, the big thing is census. I think there's something very important that just got mentioned here that nationally our Hispanic community has 60, 60 million plus. So it's very important, usually as minorities, we get undercounted. So it's very important that we count ourselves. So I'll encourage each, each person here that we we kind of collect that this next two weeks that we, we, we get counted, our communities can get counted. Once again, I'm so looking forward to working with you all.